Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Hi, can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Hi, yes. hi, good to see you. How are you? Did you have a good weekend? So, so? Very good, teacher. Very good weekend. Okay, I'm happy to hear that. Okay, let's begin. Comencemos entonces. Um, just a moment. Okay, just opening the file. Right now this. Okay. Let's begin. I'm going to call the attendance. Okay, so when you hear your name, please let me know. Okay, uh, the first one, Braulio Heriberto Velasquez Mejia. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Martinez Alvarado. Present teacher. Thank you. Cesar Alejandro Aparicio Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you. Maria, no, perdón, Claudia Maria Garcia Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Damaris Isabel Castellanos Tobar. <coughs> Present. Thank you. Toribel Arelí Arriaza Flores. Toribel Arelí Arriaza Flores. Elí Antonio Sandoval Colindres. Elí Antonio Sandoval Colindres. Present. Perdón, me pareció escuchar por ahí. Elí Antonio. Ahí lo veo. Okay. Dijo present. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ok. Uh, Herbert. Perdón, Esmeralda Isabel Martínez Orellana. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez Orellana. Herbert Adán Miranda. Herbert Adán Miranda. Isabo Elizabeth Torres Amaya. Isabo Elizabeth Torres Amaya. Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara Centen. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Jacqueline Rebecca Cermeño López. Present teacher. Thank you. Jaime Adonai Durán Hércules. Jaime Adonai Durán Hércules. Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vázquez. Present. Thank you. Jesús Eduardo Escobar Carranza. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Carlos Maravilla Méndez. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Abigail Aguilar Rodríguez. Carla Abigail Aguilar Rodríguez. Catherine Yasmín Guatemala Arias. Present teacher. Thank you. Laura Concepción Mena Garay. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Fernando Linares Sierra. Luis Fernando Present. Linares. Ok, thank you. Luz Clara de la O Fuentes. Luz Clara de la O Fuentes. Marina Esmeralda Martínez Ramos. Marina Esmeralda Martínez Ramos. Ok, thank you. 
Raúl Antonio Pérez Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Rebeca Abigail Calderón Cruz. En el chat dice teacher que no puede entrar. No. Rebeca Abigail. En WhatsApp. Sí, en WhatsApp. Ok. Ok, muchas gracias por avisar. Bueno, esperemos que pueda entrar posteriormente. Teacher, good night. Sorry. Good evening. Problem para conectarme. Ok, it's ok. Doribel. Sí, pido permiso. Este, solo voy a poder escuchar porque como es fin de mes, fíjate que estoy trabajando y soy bastante atareada ahorita. Ok, no problem. Ok, thank you. Ok. Tenemos por acá, permítanme un momento que me están escribiendo varios. Di Antonio, ya está. Yo no escuché ve. que me mencionara. Eh, sí la mencioné. Es, ah, Esme, ah, Esmeralda pues Isabel. Esmeralda Isabel. Ok. Vamos. Eli Herbert Miranda. Herbert, aquí está también. Doribel, ya le puse ahí. Damaris Isabel. Ya está. Ok. Let's continue. Rebeca Abigail Calderón Cruz. René Giovanni Martínez Aguilar. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Ruth Marielos Amaya de Guardado. Here, teacher. Thank you. Salvador Enrique Palomo Gómez. Salvador Enrique Palomo Gómez. Saúl Alexander Lozano Calderán. Saúl Alexander Lozano Calderón. Wendy Lisset Carías de Cedillos. Present teacher. Thank you. I'm going to call those who didn't answer before. Isabel Elizabeth Torres Amaya. Jaime Present Adonado. teacher. Okay. Está ahí, Sabo. Ah, aquí la vi. Ok, Isabel, well, Isabel. Thank you. Um, Jaime Adonai Durán Hércules. I'm here, Paul. Present. Ok. It, este, teacher, sorry. Yes. Sorry, 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 sorry. Ok, don't worry. Carla Abigail Aguilar Rodríguez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Luz Clara de la O Fuentes. Luz Clara de la O Fuentes. Rebeca Abigail Calderón Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you. Salvador Enrique Palomo Gómez. Salvador Enrique Palomo Gómez. Saúl Alexander Lozano Calderón. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. All right. Okay, let's begin, everybody. Okay, let's begin. So, welcome. This is Inglés Pre Intermedio Modulo 3, and that's me, Ivan Doñang, at your service. This is session number five, and today is May 29th, 2023. So, everybody, welcome once again. What are we going to do here? First, a snapshot. Can you give me just one second, please? Very quickly. Sorry. Okay, the snapshot. You have food firsts. And uh, you have some vocabulary right here. Food first. This is the story where they originated. So the first part is noodles. Noodles. What is noodles in Spanish? What's that? Pasta. Um, pasta. Fideo, verdad? That's noodles. Huh? Okay, so noodles. Can, um, well, you have first made in China, circa, which is approximately a thousand years before Christ. That's a long, long, long time ago, okay? Like 3,000 years ago. So the second one is coffee. First farmed in the Middle East in eight, 850, the year 850. 
chocolate brought to Spain from Mexico in 1520. That's another one, chocolate, okay, brought to Spain from Mexico. The next one, French fries. First made in Belgium, circa, which is approximately 1680. The next one is sushi. Sushi is modern style sushi first made in Japan in the 1700s. The sandwich, named for the English Earl of Sandwich in 1760. Then you have pizza. First pizzeria in New York City opens in 1895. Well, that's a long time ago. And finally, you have the hamburger, invented in Connecticut, USA, in 1900. There you go. This is the sources, New York Public Library's uh, Book of Chronologies. So uh, what are these foods made of? And put the foods in order from your favorite to your least favorite. We're not going to go with the whole rank because that will take too long. Instead, I want you to tell me what will be your number one, your uh, your favorite one. Let's Let's put it here, right here. What's your favorite food from the list? And uh, what's your least favorite food from the same list, de la misma lista? So what's your favorite food and what's your least favorite food? You can say, for example, imagine you say, my favorite food from this list is chocolate and my least favorite food is probably coffee. Or you can say, my favorite food from the list is sushi, and my least favorite food is noodles. Depends on you. We have a lot of chat entries. Okay. Me escuchan, compañeros. Yes, teacher. 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 Yes, Gracias. Ok, so what's your favorite food and what's your least favorite food? Yo me había afligido, estuve hablando como tres minutos. Sí, yo, <laughs> nadie me escuchaba. No, pero sí. Vamos. Um, I need a volunteer. Braulio Heriberto, what's your favorite food and what's your least favorite food from the list? Uh, yes, teacher. My, my favorite food is fish. Fish. Ah, but, but we're we're talking about the food in the list, the food in the slide. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. uh, my favorite right here. food is the hamburger. The hamburger. Okay. And what's your least favorite food from the list? Mm. Like le gusta men. You like everything. The sandwich. The sandwich. Okay. The sandwich mm. is your least favorite food. Okay. Cool. Okay. Ruth Marielos, how about you? What's your favorite food and what's your least favorite food from the list? Okay, teacher. My favorite food is pizza. Pizza? My, okay. I, yes. My least favorite least. food is least. Uh -huh. Favorite food is sushi. Sushi, okay, all right, thank you. Saul Alexander Lozano, how about you? What's your favorite food and what's your least favorite food from this list? My favorite food is uh, sushi. Sushi, Sushi. okay, yeah. and what's your least favorite food from this list? And my least favorite food is Difficult. You like Beautiful. everything. Yeah, I like it. You like the noodles, you uh, like coffee, chocolate, french fries, the sandwich, pizza, the hamburger. Probably the chocolate. Is probably chocolate. Uh, get me okay. get me fat. <laughs> okay. Makes you makes yeah. you you know gain weight. Okay. All right, thank you. Uh, Luis Fernando, then Jaime. Uh, 
and then Carlos Alberto. Okay, so Luis Fernando, what's your favorite food, please? Uh, I think my favorite food is um, definitely uh, the coffee. And least coffee, favorite, okay. Yep, coffee. I mean, least favorite food. I don't know, but, well, I never taste that sushi. I think that mm -hmm. this is my least, last favorite food. It's delicious, by the way. You should try it. Okay. Uh huh. I recommend it. Okay, thank you, Liz. Hi, Mel and I. What's your favorite food and what's your least favorite food from the list? My um, favorite food is um when uh, did you say este pasta coach? Pasta. Pasta is pasta. Pasta. Ah, pues, pasta. Mm, pasta. Mm -hmm. Um, the second, the last favorite food is. I don't know, coach, and soup, and soup, f fish, soup, fish, fish soup, fish soup, uh -huh, la sopa pescado. Okay, fish soup. Okay, that's your least favorite food. Okay, all right, thank you. Carlos Alberto, I believe, wanted to participate. Okay, teacher, listen me. Okay, what's your favorite food and what's your least favorite fruit from the list right here? Okay, my favorite food is uh, the hamburger. Favorite uh, food is the hamburger. Uh -huh. Yes, my least uh, uh, favorite food is uh, sushi. Sushi. Okay, yeah. okay, sounds good. All right, let's move on. That was vocabulary. Listen objective. Okay, in this session, participants will listen to a conversation between two people deciding where to go for dinner. Words such as so, to, neither, and either will be introduced. En esta clase, los participantes escucharán una conversación entre dos personas decidiendo dónde ir a cenar. Palabras como entonces también tampoco serán presentadas. Okay, so take a look. This is the conversation going out for dinner. Yes, Jaime. I participate. <laughs> Hi, right, do you want to read? Okay, good. Yes. Okay. All right. So, okay. Uh, Jaime and Ruth. Okay. Jaime, you are Jeff. Ruth, you can read Bob's part, please. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's begin. Okay. Hey, would you like to to go on the to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Well, where do you what do you think on India food? I love it, but I am not really in the mood for it today. Yes, I not eating, and goose is a bit spicy. I, I guess I guess it's a bit spicy. I guess it is. Can you repeat, please, coach? I a guess feature? it's a bit spicy. I guess is is a bit spicy. Mm, how do you like Japanese food? Mm, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I do, and I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Iroha. 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 Mm -hmm. Iroha. Oh, I always want to to go to dinner. Terrific, let's... let's go. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Ruth and Jaime. So Jeff says, say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? And Bob says, sure. Where do you want to go? Jeff says, well, what do you think of Indian food? What's your opinion? And Bob says, I love it, but... I am not really in the mood for it today. Okay, so what is that expression when a person says, I'm not in the mood for something. I'm not in the mood for... Como no tengo ganas, okay? So the question again is, what do you think of Indian food? And Bob says, I love it, 
but, pero, okay, I am not really in the mood for it today. Oh, no tengo ganas de eso. So, that's the meaning of I'm not in the mood for. No, 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 no tengo ganas hoy o ahorita. So, uh, Jeff says, yeah, I'm not either. Yo tampoco. I guess it's a bit spicy. Okay. Bob says, hmm, how do you like Japanese food? And Jeff says, oh, I like it a lot. Bob says, I do too. It's me too. And I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Iroha. Jeff says, oh, I have always wanted to go there. And Bob says, terrific. Let's go. By the way, what's the meaning of terrific? Does anybody know? What is the meaning of terrific? What is the meaning? ¿Qué significa Pero, terrific? Es como muy malo, como que desagradable. Sí. Manita, algo la manita, feo. la manita siempre. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Algo muy malo, algo muy feo, dicen por acá. Okay. Rebeca. Algo terrible. Algo terrible, dicen por acá. Ok, algo terrible, algo terrorífico, muy malo, muy feo. De hecho, es todo lo contrario. Terrific means good, excellent. That's the meaning of terrific. Ok. That's the meaning of terrific. Mucho cuidado ahí con esa palabra. Fantástico, dice Lee. Okay, yeah, something like that. That's terrific. Great, good, excellent. Si usted a alguien le dice terrific, okay, es algo bueno. Me voy a enojar. Okay, so terrific. Braulio Heriberto. Teacher, y, y para decir de terrorífico en inglés o, o sea terrifying eso es terrorífico Thank you, teacher. ahorita lo okay. noto ok ok Marina Esmeralda. Teacher, ¿nos puede volver a, a, a decir la pronunciación de cada palabra? Okay. Por favor. I'm not in the mood for. This is terrific. Which is great. Good. Excellent. Terrifying. Terrifying. Okay. All right. Let's continue. Just give me a moment, please. Okay, here we go. Now, uh, some vocabulary to describe food. Everybody, take a good look at this. You have the words healthy, greasy, salty, rich, spicy, uh, delicious, and bland. Okay, so that's the vocabulary right there. The first one, healthy. What's the meaning of healthy? Saludable. Mm -hmm. Saludable. That's the meaning of healthy. That is correct. Okay. Saludable. What about greasy? What's greasy? Grasoso. 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 Okay. Siempre acuérdense. Acuérdense, acuérdense, acuérdense. Okay. Grasoso. 
Espera que, que le ceda la palabra. Ok, so what about the next one? Salty. What is the meaning of salty? Esmeralda. Salado. Okay. Salado. Salado. That's the meaning of salty. Okay. Okay, good. So the next one, you have rich. What is rich? Wendy Lisette. Dulce, teacher. Not exactly. Rich is the un sabor, un sabor fuerte, un sabor intenso. That's rich. Uh -huh. Dulcísimo. Dulce. No necesariamente, simplemente un sabor así bien fuerte, bien pesado, sustancioso, intenso. That's the meaning of that. Intenso, that's rich. Come mucho dulce, se va a empalagar. So, that's rich right there. What about the next one? You have spicy. What's the meaning of spicy, Marina Esmeralda? Picante. Picante, that's right. Okay, chiloso, picante. That's the meaning of spicy. Then the next one, Braulio Riverto. You have delicious. What's the meaning of delicious? Delicioso, teacher. Delicioso, rico, right? That's, that's, that's right. You have delicious. And the last one, you have bland. What is bland? Okay, uh, Saul Alexander. Algo blando, teacher. Not exactly. Algo no. Aguado, así como... No, it's, it's, it's not about the consistency. No es como licuar. No, no, that's bland with an e. Okay. What is that? Braulio. Maybe Braulio knows. And then Marie, Claudia Maria Garcia. Uh -huh. Suave, teacher. Suave de sabor, pero puede ser también insípido o desabrido. Ok. Es como comerse la tortilla así sola. What is the pronunciation? Bland. Bland. Es como lo que les decía, uno le puede gustar las tortillas, hay gente que se las come solita, pero por lo general las tortillas las comemos, bueno, usamos tortilla para acompañar la comida, así sola es un poco, no sabe mucho a nada la tortilla, ¿no? So that's bland, ese, ese sabor, ¿verdad? Como un poco, un poco insípido, desabrido. So that's bland right there. So you have the words healthy, greasy, salty, rich, spicy, delicious, and bland. These are flavors or words that we use to describe the food. Okay, Esmeralda Isabel, do you have a question? No questions? Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Take a look, everybody. In this class, participants will understand the use of so, to, neither and either. With these words, participants may re express agreement and or disagreement. En esta clase, los participantes entenderán el uso de también y tampoco. Con estas palabras, los participantes pueden expresar cuando están de acuerdo o desacuerdo con algo. Okay, let's take a look. This is the grammar focus. Okay, you say so, too, neither and either. How do you use them? Take a look. You say, I like Japanese food a lot. So you can say, so do I, or I do too. They have the same meaning. Or if you disagree, if your opinion is different, you can say, really? I don't like it very much. Second example. You have, I'm crazy about dessert. Me encanta el postre, right? I'm crazy about dessert. That's another expression. When you say, I'm not in the mood for something, that's one expression that we have here. Another expression is this. I'm crazy about, that means I like it very, very, very much, okay? You can say, I'm crazy about chocolate. I'm crazy about pizza. I'm crazy about fried chicken. I'm crazy about cake. I'm crazy about ice cream. That means I like it very, very much. So this person says, I am crazy about dessert. Me encanta el postre. 
o los postres. So the other person says, so am I, or I am too. Same meaning, y también. Or you can disagree and say, oh, I'm not. What about the next one? I can eat really spicy food, okay? The other person says, so can I, or I can too, yo también puedo. If the other person disagrees, then they say, really? I can't. The next one is, I don't like greasy food. No me gusta la comida grasosa, okay? Then the other person says, neither do I, or I don't either, a mí tampoco. But if you disagree with the statement, you say, oh, I like it a lot, okay? It's a different opinion, different idea. Okay, so the next one is, I'm not in the mood for Indian food. I'm not in the mood, no tengo ganas. The other person can say, neither am I, or I am not either. Sería yo tampoco. But if you disagree, you can say, really? I am. Okay. I am in the mood for Italian, for Indian food. And the last one is, I can't stand fast food. I can't stand. What is the meaning of this? And you say, I can't stand. What is the meaning of that? Who knows the answer? Raise your hand, please. I can't stand. Ugh. Okay, what is that? What is something you can't stand? Any ideas? Alguna idea de qué significa la frase? I can't stand. Ruth Marielos. Uh, no puedo parar. No puedo parar. No, it's a bit different, but thanks for your participation. Marina Esmeralda. No puedo aguantar. No puedo aguantar. Está por más... comer pizza. Mm, por comer tacos. Ahí nos alejamos un poquito. Okay, ah. but, but thank you for your participation. Juan Carlos. Es como no puedo soportar, como por decirlo así, el olor a soya. Mm -hmm. I can't stand. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's correct. No soporto o no lo paso con nada. Okay, uh -huh. that means I hate it. That's the meaning of that. If there's a food that you don't like at all, a food that you like like 0%, you can say, I can't stand this. Okay, no me gusta para nada, right? What is a food that you can't stand? ¿Qué comida no pasan ustedes? Use that, please. Marina Esmeralda and Saul Alexander. I can stand el hígado. Ah, how do you say hígado in English? Liver. <laughs> Liver. With onion. <laughs> okay. So, liver. So, Marina Esmeralda can't stand liver. Okay. Liver with onion. So, uh, Saul Alexander, how about you? What food can't you stand? Um, I can't stand. Uh -huh. I can't stand. Uh, I, like I can stand, uh, for example. Ah, piénselo, piénselo. <laughs> vamos, a dar, vamos a dar chance a los otros. Esmeralda Isabel, do you want to participate? Tiene la manita levantada por ahí. What food can ah, you... Sorry. Okay. okay, okay. So, Ruth Marielos, what food can't you stand? I can stand the eggs. Eggs? Yes, eggs. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. Uh, Carlos, uh, uh -huh. uh, no sé cómo se dice, eh, bueno, o sea, mi cuerpo no lo tolera, pero uh, o sé sea, como que lo vomito, solo sentir un olor así, o un sabor así. Ah, ah okay, yeah, I guess that's, that's a good way of saying it. You say, I can't stand eggs. Okay. 
I eat egg every day. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so Juan Carlos, I'm sorry, Carlos Alberto. Carlos Alberto. Okay, teacher. Uh, I can stand egg, egg but, but turtle. I'm sorry, you can stand eggs, but what? Eggs, but hmm? turtle. So, tortilla? Turtle. No le entiendo. How do you say tortuga? Tortuga. Ah, toro. Tor tortilla. No, tortuga. Tortuga. You, you can stand turtle legs. Okay. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. you can stand turtle legs. Okay, yeah. Be careful with turtle legs. They're illegal. <laughs> you can't find them. Okay, thank you. All right, so for the next one, hi, Melanie. What food can't you stand? Yes, chipilim soup. Okay, can you say the complete sentence, please? Um, I can stand um, chipilim soup. I can stand chipilim soup. Okay, sounds good. Could you say, could you say chipilim, coach? Chipilim. In English. Chipilim, chipilim yes. Chipilim. Okay. Chipilim. I'm, I'm a teacher. Okay, Jacqueline, <laughs> Jacqueline Rebecca Cermeño. Okay, your turn. I can stand eating sushi. Or you say, I can stand sushi. Okay. All right. Good. Sushi is delicious. I recommend it. Okay. Wendy, how about you? You're the last one. I can stand fish. You can't stand fish. Okay. All right. Okay. Everybody is different. Very good. Thank you, everybody, for your participation. So uh, you have, I can't stand fast food. And the person says, neither can I, yo tampoco. Or I can't either, which is also yo tampoco. But if you disagree, the other person says, oh, I love it. Okay, this is good, I love it. So, vamos. Aquí les voy a dar una explicación a mayor detalle sobre este tema, porque ya parece muy compacto, muy, muy resumido. So, so, to... Neither, either. Saúl Alexander. Teacher, and, and we and we we can say in the in the work that what we are practicing that we I can stand a spicy food. Or... Yes, absolutely. When you say yeah. I can stand is anything, not only food, no solo la comida, cualquier cosa. Okay. Okay. Cualquier cosa. Por ejemplo, si usted no le gusta un tipo de música, okay, usted puede decir I can stand. Uh, ya yeah, dice. Aha, uh -huh, right. I, I, for example, in, in my anything. case, in my case, I say I can stand reggaeton, for example. But that's me. Okay, si a usted le gusta, yeah. no hay problema. Todos somos diferentes. Okay, that's me, right? So you say, in my case, I can't stand reggaeton, but that's a personal preference. Okay, yeah, no. I love rock music, for example. I love rock music, but I know people who can't stand rock music. It's a personal preference. Okay, so okay. you can use it with anything, not only food. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. all right, you're welcome. So uh, you have this, you say, so, to, neither, and either, okay? Primero vamos a aprender a ocupar to and either. Pongan mucha atención a este tema porque es fácil confundirse con esto. Así que pongamos máxima atención aquí. Look, she says, I'm happy. And he is in the same situation. He agrees to what, with what she said. So he says, I am happy too. Yo también estoy contento. So I'm happy too. But what about this man? He says, I am not happy. Mm -mm. And she says, I am not happy either. Yo tampoco estoy contenta. I am not happy either. So you already, you can see the difference right here. We use two and either at the end of a sentence, not at the beginning, not in the middle. Normally you use two and either at the end of a sentence. When you say I'm happy and he is in the same situation, he says, I'm happy too. But what about this guy? He says, I am not happy, negative. 
So she is in the same situation. She says, I'm not happy either. So how do we use them? We use to after a positive verb. If the verb is positive or it's in affirmative form, then you use to. For example, this person says, I am happy. This is positive. So the other person says, I am happy too. Yo también estoy contento. I enjoyed the film. I enjoyed the film. You can say, I enjoyed it too. Jane is a doctor. Her husband is a doctor too. So if you notice, there is an affirmative or positive form, positive form, positive form. So we use to. Now, to means también, okay? But what about either? Take a look at this. We use either after a negative verb. If it is negative, you use either. This is like Spanish, right? In Spanish, you use también, and also you use tampoco, okay? En una oración afirmativa, usted ocupa también, no va a decir tampoco, ¿verdad? En las negativas es que usted dice tampoco. La misma lógica es en inglés. So we use either after a negative verb. For example, this person says, I am not happy. And the other one says, uh, I am not happy either. Yo tampoco estoy contento. Okay. For the next example, they say, I can't cook. I can't. That's negative. I can't cook. And the other person says, I can't either. Yo tampoco puedo. Right. I can't either. And finally, you have Bill doesn't watch TV. He doesn't read newspapers either. Tampoco lee el periódico. Okay, so what can you see here? Negative sentence, either. Negative sentence, either. Negative sentence, either. That's how it goes. So, to means también and either means tampoco. Okay. Before we continue, do you have any questions about the explanation, the grammar right here? Do you have any questions? Ruth Marielos. Teacher, y, y, y en el caso de esas neither and either, se pueden ocupar con cualquier otro verbo, o únicamente los que están en, en, en ejemplo. For example, uh -huh. I I love it. I, I love it cook. Mm -hmm. So you say, for uh, example, I. Uh -huh. Let's see. I love cooking. Le encanta cocinar, verdad? I love cooking. Is that the idea? Yes. Okay, you can say. Yes. Uh -huh. I yes. do too. But if you say, for example, I don't like cooking, you say, I don't either. Ojo, oh, esto es solamente... Ajá. Es el... Ajá. Dígame, dígame. Dígame, Ruth. Perdón, Perdón se utiliza. Uh -huh. Ok, este, la parte de neither, entonces, ¿en qué momento se ocupa? Ah, a eso vamos. A eso vamos. No, no se preocupe. A eso okay. vamos ahorita. Okay. So, um, this is like the easy form of doing this. But there is another form which is a little bit more complicated. Take a look. So and neither. Same, same situations. She says, I'm happy. But now look at him. He says, so am I. And what is the meaning of that? It's, I'm happy too. So am I. He says, I am not happy. And she says, neither am I. Yo tampoco. Neither am I. He says, I can sing. And she says, so can I. Yo también. Okay, teacher. Entonces, neither am either se ocupan para a negative form. Correct. So and to are used in es. the affirmative forms, neither and either in negative Gracias. forms. 
Ok, you're welcome. ¿Cómo se arma esto? Fíjense bien. Usted va a comenzar con so o con neither y después de eso, esta es la parte que puede ser un poco complicada. Tiene que identificar el auxiliar del tiempo verbal de la, prim de la primera persona que habló. O el verbo en general. Dice, I am happy, the verb be. So you answer using the verb be. So am I. Pero, ¿qué pasa acá con este señor? Dice, I can sing. The modal auxiliary can. So, you have to use the modal auxiliary can. So can I. Yo también puedo. So can I. So you can say, so am I. So are you, etc. So was I. So was he. So do we. So does she. So did I. So did he. So have I, so has he. Neither can we, neither can him, can he, I'm sorry. Neither will I, neither will you, neither would he, neither would it. So that's how you use it, so and neither. You use so to, uh, when, when you have an, a, an affirmative sentence, you use neither when you have a negative sentence. Take a look. Fíjese en acá. When you say, so am I, that means I am too. When you say, so have I, that means I have too, etc. For example, imagine the first person says, I am working. And you say, so am I. Yo también. I am working too. You have to use so, then the verb, the auxiliary, and then the subject. Second example. I was late for work yesterday. ¿verdad? Llegué tarde al trabajo ayer. I was late for work yesterday. And the other person says, so was Sam. Sam también llegó tarde. ¿verdad? So was Sam. That means Sam was late too. Si ustedes se fijan, en, la prim en el primer ejemplo tenemos verb be, se contesta con el verb be. El verb be en pasado, se contesta con el verb be en pasado. ¿Ok? I work in a bank. Aquí es donde se pone un poquito difícil. This is present simple. And in affirmative sentences with the present simple, you don't use auxiliaries. Sin embargo, el present simple tiene sus auxiliares, que son do y does. Así que si no aparece en una oración afirmativa, porque en las afirmativas no hay que ocuparlo, usted por lo menos ya sabe cuál es el auxiliar y ese es el que va a utilizar. Con present simple, los auxiliares son do y does. So, I work in a bank. You say, so do I. Yo también. That means I work in a bank too. ¿Qué pasa con el pasado? También sucede lo mismo. En el pasado, usted no ocupa el auxiliar en las oraciones afirmativas. Se ocupa en las negativas y en las preguntas. Pero, si bien no aparece en la oración original, usted ya sabe que el auxiliar del past simple es did. Así que ese va a utilizar. We went to the movies last night. And you say, so did we. Nosotros también. That means we were there too. Now, I'd like to go to Australia. This is I would like. Would is a modal auxiliary. So you have to use the same modal auxiliary. So would we. Nosotros también. O a nosotros también nos gustaría. Luis Fernando. Hi. Hi. Yes. Um, the day to day, um, what is the most popular uh, respond the short um, or the large or the large respond you mean for example if they say i am working i am too or so am i which one is more common yep yep i am too will be more common but both are used in english so we need to learn both okay okay mm -hmm. yeah so let's take a look at this, the negative form. When you say, neither am I, that means I am not either. 
yo tampoco soy o yo tampoco estoy. Neither can I means I can't either. Yo tampoco puedo. So you have some examples right here. Uy, aquí me faltó el sujeto. Permítanme. Ok, hoy sí. Ok, so for example, one person says, I don't have a key. The other person says, neither do I. Yo tampoco. Neither do I. That means I don't either. So the next one is Kate can't cook. Kate no puede cocinar. Kate can't cook. So you say, neither can Tom. Tom tampoco puede. Okay. Neither can Tom. Tom can't either. I won't be there tomorrow. No voy a estar ahí mañana. I won't be there tomorrow. You say, neither will I. Okay. Yo tampoco. Ahora, quiero que se fije en un patrón acá. La oración original es negativa. Aparece el not, do not. Can't, cannot. Won't, will not. Cuando usted contesta, tiene que ocupar neither. Esto automáticamente lo vuelve negativo también. ¿Ok? Y aquí puede ver la diferencia. Cuando usted ocupa la palabra neither, luego el auxiliar y luego el sujeto, lo ocupa con N. Cuando es de la otra forma, que usted dice I don't either, hay que ocupar either y no neither. ¿Por qué será esto? Porque ya hay una palabra negativa en esta oración. En inglés no se puede tener dobles negativos. Es decir... Solo va a aparecer una estructura negativa en la oración, no dos. Si usted dice, I don't, neither, ahí estaría mal, porque don't es negativo y neither es negativo también. Solo se puede una. Así que usted dice, neither do I o I don't either. Kate can't cook, neither can Tom, or Tom can't either. I won't be there tomorrow, neither will I, or I won't either. I haven't seen that movie. No he visto esa película. You say, neither have I, or I haven't either. And the last one goes, I am not married. You say, neither am I. Vamos a ponerle acá también. I'm not either. Just a moment. Ahí está. I am not married, neither am I, or I'm not either. Before I forget, I'm going to send this information to you via WhatsApp right now. If I don't do it now, I will forget later. Also, um, no, where is it? Pre intermediate three. Okay. First one. Second one. Okay. Third one. You will receive all this information in the WhatsApp group. Okay. Saul. Teacher, uh, debo preguntar algo. No sé si. Dígame. Yo estoy. Estoy equivocado. Um, aquí, aquí se puede decir también, me neither do I. Again, se puede decir también. Me neither do I. Es lo mismo que hay. Mm, se puede decir me neither, pero no me neither do I. Ahí sí ya no. Solo me neither. Solo me neither. Me neither. Es que, vaya. Hay una forma súper genérica y súper fácil de contestar todo esto. Cualquier uh -huh. afirmativa uno puede decir, me too, nada más. Y cualquiera negativa uno dice, me neither. Esa es la forma súper, digamos, simple de contestar esto. Sin embargo, es un tanto informal. Así que... Oh, okay. 
eh, si usted quiere ser un poco más formal, tendríamos que utilizar las otras formas que estamos viendo. Pero esta es como la fácil, prácticamente le aplica a cualquier situación. Si es afirmativa, me too. Y si es negativa, me neither. Y nada más. <ríe> en los otros tenemos que estar más pendientes del auxiliar, que cuál es, que etcétera, etcétera. Ok. Sí, tenemos que usar esto. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very important. Por ser más formal. Ajá, uh -huh. that's correct. This is very formal language. Okay, do you have any other questions about this? Wendy Lisset. O sea, teacher, que oh, de, de la, ambas formas se puede contestar. Mm -hmm. eh, you can pero, say, uh -huh. you can say pero, neither do I or I don't either. Ah, pero cuando hay que contestar negativamente con los verbos de un ejemplo, eh, eh, cuando usted contesta so was Sam o Sam was late too, uh -huh. eh, si ese lo queremos hacer negativo, pero lleva el verbo was, o sea, en pasado, eh, eh, siempre vamos a contestar en pasado, digamos, neither was in. Perdón, perdón, mm, neither, neither, neither was. was. Ajá, ah, o okay. sea que, que sí se podría contestar en negativo con los verbos de, la, de lo de positivo. Vamos a ver. John wasn't late this morning. You can say neither was. ¿Cómo se llama? Olvidó el nombre. <laughs> neither was Sam. Yes. Así se puede utilizar también. Pero hay que tener cuidado porque hay algunos verbos que no tienen auxiliar. Es decir, el verbi, precisamente, es el verbo que no ocupa auxiliares. Por lo tanto, se ocupa el verbi de la forma que aparezca. Pero en los otros tiempos hay auxiliares y esos son los que tenemos que identificar. Y los que vamos a utilizar. Por ejemplo, si yo digo a uh, John... Arrived, okay, late this morning. You can say, so did uh, Rosa. Okay. ¿Por qué did y no arrived? Porque arrived is past simple. El past simple ya sabemos que el auxiliar es did, así que ese es el que vamos a ocupar. Uh -huh. O decimos, John didn't arrive late this morning. Y si decimos Rosa tampoco, decimos neither did Rosa. Okay, teacher, thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Okay, so there are some exercises, but I believe we're probably going to do these tomorrow. Okay, nos quedamos con la explicación hasta este punto porque... Vamos a comenzar con los ejercicios mañana. Lo que vamos a hacer mañana es que vamos a tener un repaso de esto. We're going to have a review of this. And after that, we're going to do the exercises. ¿Ok? Por lo pronto, déjenme tomar asistencia una vez más, que ya son las 10. Ok, so, um, is only two people are missing. So, is Luz Clara de la O Fuentes here? Luz Clara. Luz Clarita. Luz Clara. No. Okay. Is Salvador Enrique Palomo Gomez here? Yes, teacher. I'm here. Okay. Thank you, Salvador. Thank you very much. Okay. Recomendación. Acuérdense todos, por favor, que para esta semana tenemos que haber completado, o para el final de la semana, es decir, para el día jueves, ya tiene que estar completada toda, completa toda la sección 3 y además el midterm. Son ambas cosas. Tiene que completar toda la unidad, toda la sección y además el midterm. ¿Verdad? Eh, se los digo por acá, ¿verdad? Después, eh, para que no nos atrasemos, ¿verdad? Luego en el grupo dicen ahí, miren, estas personas, fulano, sotano, mengano, con nombre y apellido, van atrasados, dice entonces, va, evitemos eso, que no nos vayan a hacer ahí el llamado de atención. Y pues eh, tratemos de estar al día con el trabajo en la plataforma. Que ese trabajo, junto con la asistencia, junto con los minutos de participación en la clase, de participación quiere decir los minutos que usted ha permanecido conectado o conectada, 
eh, son los que le dan a usted, digamos, el aval para pasar al siguiente nivel, ¿verdad? Si no hacemos el trabajo en la plataforma, entonces no podemos pasar. Si no estamos en la lista de asistencia, no podemos pasar. O si no completamos más del 75, 80%, 80%, perdón, de minutos de asistencia en las sesiones, entonces tampoco se puede. Así que procuremos estar bien atentos a esos detalles de no atrasarnos, ¿verdad? Y llevar todo al día. De acuerdo. Uh, again, tomorrow we're going to have a review of this. And after that, we're going to do some exercises. So get ready. Si usted puede repasar esto, tal vez no ahorita, porque ya son las 10, ¿verdad? Y ahorita creo que ya todos quieren buscar ya el descanso. Um, tal vez mañana usted pueda darle un repasito. Y pues, eh, para, no, para venir frescos para la clase. Ok, everybody, thank you very much. Uh, that will be all today. And uh, I will see you tomorrow. Take good care and good night. Good night. Good night, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night everyone. Good night, everybody. everybody. Ok.